Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, KGF Apple Creations. Well, Friday has arrived, so you know what that is. It's another episode of Friday Sews. Friday Sews is the day that we talk about what has been going on here in the sewing room. We talk about the plans that we have for the weekend and for the week ahead, and talk a little bit about life. I cannot believe another Friday, this uh, time of the year is just going like this. It is flying by. Before we get into what has been going on here in the sewing room, I just wanna talk about what I'm wearing today. This is my Melody Dolman. I made this last month, maybe two months ago. And this is a linen blend that I got from Joann's. And this is my second Melody Dolman. I really, really like this pattern. It's nice. The only problem I have with this shirt is that I have to iron it every time I wash it because it's linen. You know how that goes with linen. Now let's talk about what has been going on here in the sewing room. I am done with the jacket. The jacket is ready. My daughter's jacket. I did some changes. I did change here in the shoulder, right here. Friday night, I unpicked the sleeve, took the, took the both sleeves out, and Saturday afternoon, I had to, I took the pattern pieces and I removed one inch from the shoulder right here, right here at this end here. I went up one inch, then I had to redraw the uh, arm side. I just went in a little bit and same thing for the back piece. So with doing that, the old sleeve did not fit in this one here because as you cut, the arm side gets a little bit better. I only went from up here kind of down to the notch right here. I did not cut here at the bottom, it was just on this side right there, all the way here to the notches, front and back. So I had to cut another sleeve. And cutting another sleeve, I measured the bicep on the pattern piece because there was a lot of fabric right here bunching up. Remember that I showed you that all that fabric? I measured the bicep. The bicep measurement was 19 inches. That was really, really big. So I decided to do a small bicep adjustment of one inch, just one inch. That's all I did. And what else did I do? The small bicep adjustment and that changed the top here a little bit instead of the, actually, you know what? I'm going to get the, um, sleeve pattern piece so I can show you what I did and you can see a little bit of the uh, of the pattern piece so I can explain to you a little bit better. So this is the sleeve pattern piece right here. I have, I traced this and so I decided to do, like I said before, a small bicep adjustment. So doing that right here, this is the portion, this little portion here went up a little bit so it changed this here a little bit, because this to me was very kind of flat because it's a jacket, doing a jacket, it's usually flatter, it's not that round. So that changed this a little bit. And then after that, I just cut it here and I added just a little half an inch right there because I measured and it was still not enough from here all the way here it was not enough to fit into the measurement of the arm side. I had to measure everything on the arm side and then I measured this, it, did, it was not fitting. So I decided to add half an inch here and that was just enough. It was the perfect amount of fabric that I added to the sleeve to fit into the jacket. So that was really, really good. And after that, all I had to do was just put the uh, um, new sleeve in and that was it. Now I wanted to show you, I hope you can see it. You see this right here, this is just extra cording right here. I bought three yards, I don't know why I bought that much, didn't need that much. She just did this 
because you know I have too much. I'm waiting for the little ends. I ordered some of, uh, I think they're called cord ends or cording ends. I bought them from Amazon. I'm waiting for that to arrive so I can cut this a little bit shorter and put the little ends so it doesn't look like this. Right now I have scotch tape here because I had to pass it through the little um, cord stops right here. These cord stops I purchased from Joann's. I also purchased, purchased the cording from Joann's. I went there one day and that's the only thing I purchased, nothing else. <laughs> so I was very proud of myself. I did go to Joann's and didn't buy much. I did also pattern match the uh, strip right here. You, can, you cannot even see it. I don't think you can see it. Right here, I pattern matched both sides right here it took me a while <laughs> to do this i had to make sure that it was matching everything and also in the back i also did some pattern matching that you cannot see what is going on here with that one strip of fabric going around so i can put the uh, could put the cording through <laughs> my daughter told me that i was obsessing a bit too much with the pattern matching <laughs> But it does look good i did this the top stitching here i did that and i put the elastic here in the sleeve and can you believe that to me the hardest portion of this whole jacket here was this little portion right here i don't know if it was maybe because of the elastic i used it was it's not a bit tough elastic but this is so small right here I had such a hard time putting this elastic through and I could not stitch it on the sewing machine, the actual elastic that you have to overlap. I usually just overlap the elastic and I try to do a little zigzag on it. I didn't have enough space to put it in the machine. So I just did some hand stitching on the actual elastic. And then when it was time to close the hole that I had left here, I had to go to the sewing machine because there was no way around it. Oh my goodness, that was so, so tough because it is pretty, pretty tight. I did measure it on my daughter to make sure that it wasn't too big or it wasn't too tight. And this is just enough. She did put it on after I finished and it's looking, it's just perfect here The uh, for her wrist. It is looking really, really good. Now I have, um, talked to my daughter that if after I had finished, if it was still a bit too much here, that we could do a shoulder pad. There was some um, comments. I know Vicky commented on the shoulder pads. Who else said something about the shoulder pads? Julie also did say, she did mention adding shoulder pads. If she feels it's still a little bit too low, I can put a small shoulder pad right here. But when she put it on, I didn't think it was that low because once I added this right here and this went in right on her waist, all of this kind of looked much better because it kind of ruched a little bit up. So this right here looked better. So I don't know if she wants me to do it, I will do it. But to me, it does not need any shoulder pads at this moment. She was very, very happy. She's like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. It looks so, so good. And it does. I am really, really proud of this jacket. All of the plaid matching looks really, really nice. I mean, some of it, there was nothing I can do about the sleeves because the sleeves are in the round. So it's, yeah, I didn't do much about this. Actually, I have to wash it because there's markings here. There's a marking right here, a little white. There are white markings around this jacket. So I have to wash this and uh, so the little uh, markings will go away. Yeah, so she's really, really happy with this jacket. She put it on and she was like, I feel hot already, this is so warm. So yeah, this is a good, it's a nice pattern. Little problem with the uh, drop of the shoulder, but that's because she already has a drop shoulder. So it was like a double whammy with this one. What are the plans that I have for this weekend and for the week ahead? Well, now that I have finished the jacket, <laughs> that took a while. 
yeah saturday working on it and trying to do the pattern matching the plaid matching with the little um casing place here that that was <laughs> that took me some time it took me two weeks to do this jacket for her but now that i have finished i have already traced a pattern so i can make a garment i'm not going to say what i'm going to make with the fabric that arrived from the think pink subscription box number i think it's number 33 yeah i think it's number 33 yes and uh, yeah so i'm going to work on that because thanksgiving is coming pretty quick i do want to wear the garment on my um it's on tuesday the office uh lunch that we have every year we have an office lunch for thanksgiving so i want to wear the garment that one day and then possibly also wear it on thursday it shouldn't get dirty <laughs> that much because we don't do much you know in the office wear it on thursday also if it's not too warm we'll, we'll see what happens last year i made this one here this was also from a think pink a subscription box i don't remember if this was my second or third box I don't remember but I made this and I did wear this for the Thanksgiving uh, lunch at the office this here is a Rhapsody dress with the flutter sleeves right here but I won't be making a Rhapsody dress because I already have two I think yeah I think I have two Rhapsody dresses and I don't want to make another one right now so it will be something different this year. Let's talk about life. Not much has been going on. Just preparing for the holidays. Thanksgiving is coming pretty quick. In about two weeks, maybe less. Yeah, less than two weeks because it's Friday and then another Friday. Yeah, Thanksgiving is Thursday, November 28th. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty fast. It's coming like that so just decorating the house just prepping everything this year is going to be a quiet thanksgiving for us uh, my sister is going to be traveling so it's just going to be the three of us here at home and uh, yeah it's going to be nice and quiet just the way i like it so i hope to be sewing pretty much the whole weekend i don't know if i'm going to do any black friday shopping maybe not i hope not to get any fabric maybe some notions or something if there's a nice sale going on i might look into that but for now i am not planning to into buying anything all right that's all i had for you guys today i hope you liked this video i just wanted to share with you the finished jacket that i made for my daughter the simplicity pattern 8843 if you liked this video please hit that like button below and if you can also subscribe it will mean a lot to me don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video i will see you on the next one bye